I had nothing going on. And these these 600 upvotes on Reddit, man, they 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 made a they made a little boy cry, right? Fundy was a failure in school. I was a software engineer about to drop out. Right? And I was a high school student before that who literally was failing everything. When his first content started to blow up, he found smart ways to collaborate with other creators like Dream and Wilbur to keep growing. I was sending emails to, to people like Dream and Wilbur, literally saying, please, please do videos with me. Right? I was, I was begging almost. And now he's working on his own game studios and projects much larger than just his YouTube channel. Once this game comes out, it's going to be big. Like, I'm, I'm aiming for it to be huge. My name's Eric. I'm co-founder of Carrot. We help creators with their finances. And join us today for 36 questions to fall in love with Fundy. I'm here today with Fundy. You might know him for his Minecraft videos, but his true talents, he's a software developer that's building a competitor that's going to be better Yes, something that is absolutely not not leaked at all yet. Uh, so good job leaking it. Okay. <laughs> no, I, uh, I I am a software dev. You're right. Uh, little little introduction. So I um I do a lot of programming. I, I I'm not really a Minecraft let's player or like a like a how's it going guys. Not one of those people. I I more so find a game, and I realize the game is built on code. I realize I have access to the code. And I realized, hey, if you tweak this code, it does funny things. There's funny things that happen, right? Because, like, for example, you can, you can, like, grab the gravity. And then you see it's a positive number because gravity goes down. What if it's a negative number, right? And now all the, all the creatures, all the cows, all the, all the sheep, they, they fly up to the, to the moon. You right? cruel god. I am a cruel god in my own realm. I create and I destroy. That's what I do. You have become death, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> for content, though, for comedy. Manipulator of bovine gravitational forces. I manipulate all that is manipulatable Ooh. and more. And so how did this happen? Do you remember the first time you ever started to tinker around and you're like, hey, this could be a thing? Ooh, okay. So do you know the Mandalorian? Yes, I'm familiar you know, with the Mandalorian. The, the Disney Mandalorian. Oh, wow. Is the Mandalorian in your origin story? It is. It actually is. Okay. It's the origin story. So that was this funny little fella, right? He's called Baby Yoda. Yeah, Gronku? Oh, I don't know. I have not seen it, actually. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> I have not seen Such that. Such an important part no, of your no, story. No, 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 okay. no, no. I so have there's not seen Baby it. Yoda. I just know of the meme. Yes, right? yes memes, Baby Yoda. Memes, funny. So Baby Yoda, funny little face. I realized there's this guy uh, in Minecraft already that kind of looks small. So in Minecraft, you got these things called resource packs and you can kind of like replace assets of Minecraft with other assets. You can't really change code at that it's point. It's like to reskin. Yeah, yeah. It's re I reskinned yeah, it, right? Okay. So I reskinned Baby Yoda into Minecraft and I uploaded that on Reddit onto someone's YouTube channel or someone's YouTube or Reddit, right? And within like... I had no, I had no publicity at this point. Within like a day, it hit like 600 upvotes or something like that, without anything doing it's anything to it, which was huge Reddit. as a yeah, small person. Absolutely. Like I had nothing going on. My, I was, I was so boring. I had nothing going on. Right? What do you mean by that? I had nothing. Well, were you, what were you doing in your life then? Before I, you I was, I was this? being, I was a software engineer about to drop out, right? And I was a high school student before that who literally was failing everything. I, I passed my school with like. Point zero, great. So in, in the Netherlands, you go from one to 10, and at, I think, 5.5, you pass. And the final exam, it goes one decimal further. So it goes 5.50, you pass. I had 5.51 to pass. I literally barely passed. I already failed a few things. My, my teachers were angry at me. My parents were angry at me. I was a failure, like hell. And then I went into uh, university, and I dropped out of that. Uh, so yeah, I had nothing going on, and these these six hundred upvotes on Reddit, man, they 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 made a they made a little boy cry, right? They made a little boy cry. I had that going on. Um, Reddit upvotes got me onto one of the the YouTube highlight, you know, like 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 meme review kind of thing, yeah, you know, the, you know the, the classic PewDiePie thing. So so we had this guy uh, meme review my my content, and it happened twice in one week, which literally 
skyrocketed me from zero to 3,000 subscribers without doing anything. And then I uploaded a video that was super simple. This is where I really started getting into coding. So you have these things in Minecraft that are called slimes, and they're basically scalable, so to say. You have a big slime, you kill it, goes smaller, you kill it, goes even smaller, right? It, it scales down. Change that number into a negative, it scales up, right? So you kill a slime, and it spawns multiple bigger slime, right? Mm. And that's funny, because it, it's unexpected, it's, it doesn't make sense, right? Uploaded that terrible microphone. I had like one of those snowball spheres, you know, the, the 60 yeah. bucks Amazon things in my, my bedroom. I had a terrible green screen that I didn't even properly use. Like I was, I was like your average noodle eating college student, right? Video got 6 million views within like Insane. within weeks for wow. no reason. I, I deserve none of that because it, anyone could have done that. Literally anyone could have done that. It's just that no one did. And I think it's, First, to your point on those 600 Reddit upvotes and everything, yeah. and now you're getting yeah, 6 million views. Like, it's almost like the world suddenly telling you, like, hey, what you're doing is actually interesting <laughs> and cool. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess. But, like, what, what I'm most proud of is that after I started doing this, I saw a lot of other YouTubers starting to do this as well. Like, I saw, I saw a lot of other YouTubers starting tweak code, uh, tweaking code in Minecraft and also other games. Like, people started making custom mods in Terraria and making videos about it. Um, so I'm, I'm more proud that I actually did something that other people started doing. And I'm actually friends with a lot of people now that said, hey, listen, this video you made made me start doing what I do wow. now. So that I'm more proud of than, than the whole other YouTuber, like, subscriber bullshit. I don't care about that. You mentioned that it could have been anybody. Yeah. But what you described, it's a mixture of three things, three, four things. Number one, obviously technical ability to modify code. Okay. Number two, familiarity with Minecraft. Okay. Number three, you're funny. I remember right. you mentioned to me a couple of days ago, you have a background in voice acting. Like even listening to you now, you sound good. Don't make me blush on camera, man. Like, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want none of this. You got, you got, you're like, I've got an image to me. I don't want none of this. I don't want to. No. Okay. Let me, let me first go back. So you, you say you have three things. I, I, I want to tweak that a little bit. What I actually had was one, an understanding of those, this Indian tutorial videos. And I actually understood how, how you watch those videos and understood how you actually learn from them Did on you YouTube. In Indian tutorial videos. Yeah. You know, the, the massive amounts on, on, they know better than everyone, like on YouTube. That's how you learn how to code. Yes, absolutely. So, so I, I, I learned it via like the C sharp, like episode one tutorial, um, absolute like, like, like nerd to the max, right? Then literally anyone can do this because it takes zero effort. It is, it is almost like you follow a tutorial on how to set up something and then you just use it. That, that's genuinely all I did. Like there was, there was very, very little uniqueness to it. Uh, funniness came along the way. I was, I was boring as hell before it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I did do a tiny bit of voice acting, not too much. Um, when, I, uh, when, I, when I didn't do anything, I had no job. Um, my, my dad ran a, ran a company for Turkey and they needed one of those corporate, you know, the, the classic corporate videos where they need like, like the animation styles that you can see 50 times in other companies, right? Those kind of videos they needed a voice for. And here's the thing. I think totally like my dad could have, could have just gotten anyone. It's just that I was cheaper. <laughs> it's just that I was cheaper. Thanks dad. It was, that's literally it. That has to be it. Like, like my dad just went, okay, we need a voice for this. We can hire some guy who's like 10 grand, right? To voice two minutes. Or I can hire my son who can probably do it for 50 bucks. Right. Yeah. And I said, yeah, okay, I can do that. And then eventually he gave me, uh, I think it was 500, which was mm -hmm. huge. Absolutely massive. Even, even outside of everything that I do now, like that's, that's big. Right. Uh, it took around a week to like get the voice right because I never did voice acting before and and I would always like redo the voices I wouldn't even speak English properly at that point uh, I would still have like a heavy dialect um so my voice acting was that my voice acting was doing those classic like this is how immigrants move in Europe like like those kind of things I had no yeah. clue what I was talking about I was saying a bunch of like Turkish city names that I would butcher five times uh, 
it, it, I had no idea. So, do you, <laughs> fair. I mean, sounds, those names are pretty hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you consider yourself more technically minded as an engineer or more creatively inclined as an entertainer? I would honestly say more technical. Yeah, and the entertaining part is just a way for you to show what you're doing yes. and build the business. Uh, I think that's much more it. I think that's much more it. I don't think I don't think I have that much humor. I don't think I have that much like um unique content. It's more so that I have the ability to use a technical aspect. And that's just such a niche that it looks like I'm very unique in it. But I feel mm. like a lot of other people, if they did do what I do, they can do it too. I feel like. So don't drop out though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah, I, I was I was gonna say because so you graduated school. You said you hated it. Yes. And I was if, awful at it. What like what about school? Because, dude, like let's be real. You're clearly smart. <laughs> like no one would be running a successful channel, right? A business with a team, right? Without knowing how to do it. A lot of it is learning experience. I mm. I messed up so many things. But like I, there are so many things that I like. I would hire someone. And then I would go like, hey, listen, I need you to edit this video. And I can't do it because I know you could do it better than me. Um, we need this video out Friday. And he's like, all right, we can do that. It's Monday right now. Let's, let's get this going. So if you can send the footage on Tuesday, we'll get it started. Tuesday happens. I didn't send anything. He's like, hey, where's the footage? I'm like, oh, almost finished. Wednesday, nothing happened. He's like, yo, man, I don't know if I can make the deadline if we have this little time. I'm like, I, I got it. Wednesday evening. Thursday afternoon, I'm like, here it is. Here's my footage. Mm. Edit it within one day. <laughs> Damn. So like I had no idea what I was doing. And um my team fully knew that. It was very much a build-up experience. I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it's expected for anyone who jumps into like a company or jumps into like a business or or any sort of like job to know what you're doing. Like that's the whole difference between like knowledge and actual experience, right? Certain things you can know but you have to be able to use them. Mm. And that using part, you're not going to learn from a textbook, right? Mm. You're not going to learn anything. It's, it's a trial and error. I love that because number one, I also don't know what I'm doing half the time. Yeah. And yeah, exactly, right? Like, that's the whole thing. That's you, the whole thing. You, you kind of just do things and see what happens. And number two, I love your point. There's a difference between knowledge and actually applying it. And right. like for instance, school, it's very textbook based. It's yeah. very test based. And it's not something you enjoyed, but suddenly when it came to, okay, I need to figure out how to make these cows fly up to the moon. <laughs> you're like, all right, YouTube tutorial, 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you exactly actually, that. you have a goal, you have a purpose. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, okay. So like my purpose didn't really start with Minecraft and all that and programming. So so here, here's the whole thing, right? So I failed school a lot because I was trying to teach myself coding. Uh, I was trying to teach myself C Sharp. I was trying to teach myself uh, JavaScript, Node.js, all that kind of stuff, um, and figuring out what kind of crazy things you can do with it. So initially, when I didn't have any job, and I knew that money was a big thing in the world, which it is, sadly, um, I needed to get it somewhere, right? Here's the thing. A lot of games have an in-game currency, Right, you have you have RuneScape yeah, that is an in-game currency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and a lot of that currency can come from like having a mass amount of items. It doesn't really matter what item, right? If you have something a huge amount of, sell it in bulk, you get a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Probably trade the account for actual real money, right? All you need is to get any item in bulk, right? Any any profitable yeah, item in bulk that people want. Sure. Right, right. That people want. So all you need is something that can get that item kind of like almost 24 seven without you really needing to be awake for it. Right. Right. Now there are terms that are called botting. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Fundy, you ran RuneScape bots. Well, not RuneScape necessarily. It was a lot of games. Um, I, I, had, a, I had a lot of games where I realized this is the most autonomous action ever. All I need is just one program that can kind of be used on a lot of programs, right? So I built, my, my first c -sharp project was a project that could detect color on your screen and click on specific hue patches, right? 
So if you have an ore vein that's that's yellow for gold in a in a gray tunnel, mm. my program would click on that yellow. Right? You see where I'm going yeah, with this. 100%. You see where I'm going with so this. So it doesn't matter the game, you just train it. To you go you just make it work for whatever. It, sometimes it's a bit more complicated, sometimes it takes a few extra lines of code, but eventually you'll get something autonomous, right? And so first I distinctly remember in RuneScape seeing all these player characters just doing this right. very rote mechanical yeah, 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 robotic yeah. like mining farming actions. Yeah, and yeah, like, okay, how can those people do it for eight hours straight? I don't know. How did I do it for a couple hundred hours straight? Just really cracked at the game. And now I'm hearing, okay, there's people <laughs> like you just trying to make a buck. So you're basically failing out of school and you're like, well, I just need to make money. Yeah. Did you make decent money from that? Um, okay, define decent. Like, did you make enough that you could have support yourself full time? I made enough for me to afford the school lunches, right? Um, and that's kind of it. Like, it wasn't as profitable. Yeah, you made enough to literally be able to feed yourself. Yes, yes, I made enough to feed myself. Exactly. That, that, that's that, right? I didn't make enough to buy myself a new Tesla yeah. at all. Like, yeah. like that, that thing wasn't as profitable. Because um, there's much better money-making things in those kind of games that require actual skill. I, I did the most boring ones. You know, like getting, getting a couple million feathers that someone will need, right? Um, so, like... Did it make a profit? Yes. Did it make a big profit? No. <laughs> if your first video is hadn't started to blow up on Reddit and YouTube, what do you think you'd be doing today? Oh, that's actually very exciting. I, I have no idea. I probably probably the same schemish level of things. Yeah. A bit worse, probably. I feel like I would do it a little bit worse. Um yeah. feel like feel like it feel like it's it would have been probably smart. I feel like I probably would have made a lot of money with it. I would I wouldn't call it morally okay, though. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Um, but I, I don't know. I think um, if, I, if I wasn't doing YouTube... See, my biggest issue was I never wanted to work for someone. I couldn't do that. I, I just didn't want to do that. I, uh, I never wanted to be, like, an employee. Because I hate deadlines a lot. I mean, spoken of my YouTube, which barely gets any regular uploads, I'm not good with deadlines at all. I kind of want to work for myself. I kind of want to get a project in my vision and go like, this is the one, that's, that's what I got to do, right? Like, but, but if someone else tells me, hey, we need an app, let's get it together next, next Friday, no shot. I'm not doing it. You're creative, but you're not necessarily conscientious. Like, okay, I got to do this thing by that time. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, I can't I do it. any of that. No way. I'm really similar to yourself. That's yeah. also why I'm doing yeah. a company. I was never great at like, you got to get this done by this yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, what's happening? I was all for it. Yeah, but sometimes when I get excited about something, I would just make That's it happen. That's the one. That's the one. Exactly. And I got excited about cheating systems. Yeah, you did. In a way, when you first started to blow up. Right. I remember you mentioned you started just looking for, hey, people who put together these meme compilations. That's what yeah. helped blow up your first video. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. you mentioned to me the other day, you started intentionally trying to make content that you knew yeah. would be featured and just blow you up even more and more. Yeah, so I, I never really, so, so okay, here's the thing, right? I never really sat down on my computer and just grinded for it. I never, I never went on that grind set, like I gotta upload three times a week, whatever, I, that, that, that was never me. How I, how I looked at it, it was like, hey, listen, there are these communities already existing, right? Like, let's take, let's take big examples, like you have, you have, PewDiePie, Ludwig, Markiplier, like there's, there's, there's big people out there. They have a community, they, they built it um, with their own twist, right? That community, they have a lot of things in, 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 in similarity because obviously they're all together watching one person. So if they like something else, that big community probably combined likes that other thing else because they're, they're kind of like a similar mindset, right? So if I just find people interested in Minecraft memes, interested in Minecraft content, and then also find people who kind of like review Minecraft content. If I can be at the top of that list, right as they review it for their, their audience, that's a huge boost, right? So Reddit was my go-to. I had these YouTubers. One of the biggest ones was, uh, was uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix SC. He was a really big Minecraft YouTuber who did a lot of, uh, a lot of reviews, a lot of, a lot of Minecraft meme reviews. 
And if I just knew, like, he uploads every month, at the end of the month, if I upload, like, three days before that and post on his Reddit, it'll be in, like, the top or, like, the, 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 the trending at least, right? High chance to be reviewed, which is exactly what happened. So, like, like I posted my, my stuff there. It got heavily reviewed. It got heavily shown. And people kind of, like, so smart. flooded over to my channel, right? And from that point on, I kind of, like, scaled up the business more and more and more. Like, the faster I was growing, the more I started contacting people. Like, I was sending emails to, to people like Dream and Wilbur, literally saying, please, please do videos with me, right? I was, I was begging, almost. And Wilbur, Wilbur talks trash about that to me for a very long time. He said, like, you contacted me via email, you little cringy boy. But in the end, it worked. Right. In the end, I knew what I was doing. I sent emails to a lot of people and I said, hey, listen, I got this unique idea. Uh, I'm a small YouTuber. I'm smaller than you. But here's what it takes. 30 minutes of your time. I set everything up. Nothing else is required from you. Just be there. And it's going to be funny. Yeah. And they did. I mean, right. Dream accepted and, and Wilbur accepted like the two huge people back then. Right. Yeah. Um, and from there, it, it literally just started skyrocketing. Like I... Didn't really need to do much more. That was kind of it. And you've always mentioned and framed it as it's a business. So what's the focus today, right? I remember to me, you mentioned you're developing a game. I am developing a game. Yeah. I, I, I literally can't say much about it um, because it's very behind the scenes and it's very much a work in progress. Um, but ultimately, like, I'm still in that mindset of like, I'm a software developer mm. and I shift from one thing to another, right? Like I've done Twitch for a very long time and, and I stopped for a while. I've done YouTube very actively. Now I'm kind of doing like big ones. I've done my highlights, I've done my clips channel. But every now and then, like once once I'm kind of like, once I've used it, once I've enjoyed it, I want to shift to something else, Yeah. right? And that's kind of like what I've done. Um, I started a game company, very much behind the scenes, so I can't say much about it. But ultimately, once this game comes out, it's going to be big. Like I'm, I'm aiming for it to be huge. And then that budget that that game makes, I'm going to use that for an even bigger project and then for an even bigger project and bigger and bigger, right? Like I want to, I want to do some crazy things with it. I love it. It's like you just go from project to project. Yes. And yeah. as each project is successful, you use the funds for that to go even bigger exactly. on the next like, one. Like I, I want to, I, I've had people say like, oh, that's a Mr. Beast mindset, right? Like how he, how he invests everything into the next thing. I would say it's close, but I wouldn't limit myself to only a bigger YouTube video. Right, content. For Mr. Beast, it's yes. always bigger videos. You're more like, it doesn't have to be a video. Yeah, a bigger project to me, more. So, like, literally, like, anything that can happen, right? We have this whole game that gets produced. And then with that budget, I might make a movie, right? And with that budget, I might start, like, an actual, like, industry. I have no idea. But, like, whatever at that moment entertains me, whatever I think, like, ooh, this is a cool idea, this can help this can help the world. Then I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Right. What's the dream? Say the classic question, you had a billion dollars. What would you do with your life on a day-to-day -day basis? If I had, if I had a, a billion, you say? Yeah. So I'm not one to live big. I don't want a big house and fancy cars and all that. Uh, like my dad's been shouting at me, like get ready for retirement. I'm like, no, I don't want to like none of that. Um, if I had a billion, I would definitely invest the majority into a new project that would make more than a billion ideally in my mind right that's the goal right so it, it, it would scale up even that from a billion is incredible obviously how i would do that i have no idea i don't know if it's sure, feasible but at the all, intent, but you're like oh cool a billion dollars how do i turn this into 10 billion what's yeah, the project yeah. i can do next i've never heard someone share that as an answer yeah like that, that's 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 the thing amazing. i want to do like i i don't so ultimately, like the reason I'm building this game is also not because I want to make more money necessarily. Like obviously I want it to profit, right? I, I need that money for the next project. But I'm not doing this to like make as much money as I can because then I, then I would have done like the, the, the TikTok, you know, phone games, right? You know, the, the, the subway surfer right, yeah. level. You could have found then other I ways done that. to get more views, more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise I would have uploaded more, right? Like if I wanted money, I would upload more. But that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for, I want to do something that actually is interesting to me, that I think is interesting to others, that is not necessarily like yet another clone of something, yet another like, oh, this is, you know, another another phone game that's like 
it catered towards 12 year olds. I want to, I want to do something that, that inspires me myself as well. And hopefully the rest of the world, right? I want to, I want to build up to something. I love that because the very first thing when we started talking about your videos doing well, you mentioned one of the most meaningful things was seeing other people begin to emulate them too. Because yeah. to me, I see that as a proxy of, Hey, like this Fundy guy said something like really interesting that inspires me. That's what I'm right. hearing you continuing to want to do on a larger and larger scale, yeah. doing meaningful work that mm -hmm. you find personally important that others are inspired by as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, so like the thing is, right, you have these, you have these YouTubers, it's, it's almost like split 50, 50, you have YouTubers like me that are heavily inspired when someone kind of like is interested in their work. Whenever, whenever someone sees your work, and grows up to be the next YouTuber generation, right? Like I'm built upon big people as well. Like I was, I was a viewer of a lot of like the um, S and P Live people. I was heavily a fan of PewDiePie. Like like all those people. I watched Ludwig before I started, right? Like all these all these people. They helped me grow up, and I want to be someone that helps future people grow up as well, right? That that's the that's the left half of of the people of the YouTubers, and then the other half is very simple. How dare you do something that I did? Copyright, right? That that's the other half, and that that I don't like too much. Um, if people see like an original idea and they want to and they want to claim it as their own, so that no one else can do it, I don't. Come on, why? It doesn't help you. Why why would you do that, right? It it doesn't help anyone. Like it makes you a, a quick buck, but it looks terrible in publicity, and it's just not okay. Yeah, it's almost that saying, "Great artists steal." Yeah. And it's recognition that there's always going to be a little bit of, I like this and I'm going to incorporate it in my own work. Yeah. And there is that fine line. I remember in Ludwig's recent video where he literally mentioned being inspired by you. Yeah. I think he described yeah. it as the rip and twist, right? You take it yeah, and you something change like that. it a little. Yeah, something like that. I, th I think that's that's totally fine. Uh, exactly as Ludwig said. So like, here's he, he made a perfect example. Ludwig saw something from me, one of my video ideas, and twisted it. And he got views from it. But similarly, I've stolen ideas from Ludwig and twisted it. And I got views for it, right? And I've taken inspiration from Michael Reeves. And I've seen Mr. Beast take inspiration from me, right? Like, that that's how it is. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. As long as it's not like an actual, hey, this is a fun video, re-upload. As long as it's not that, then it's fine. Like, as long as it's a unique thing inspired by others. I mean, it's what everyone's been doing their whole life, right? Like, everyone, everyone's been inspired by other people. So like, why would you put a halt to that? I love that. So Vandy, what I want to play with you now okay. is 36 questions to fall in love. The New okay. York Times wrote a study about this. They took these randomly selected pairs of people. They went through these questions around vulnerability and reciprocity. Okay. Many of those pairs then became friends. One pair even ended up marrying with each other. So stakes are high. Yeah. And so the way it starts, I'm going to count down from three to one. Okay. And after that, we're going to make eye contact. And the first person to look away or blink their eyes, they have to pull the first card. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Awesome. Three, two, one. I don't easily get embarrassed. Wait, so can you blink? Oh, oh you can blink. Oh, God. <laughs> My eyes. You have this, your stamina. I can't quite keep up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. What was your first impression of me? Ooh. Okay. You're a very open person. You're a very open person. Because when, when we met, I mean, you were you were together with um uh you you were together James with Key. James, right? We we met the three of us. And I know that you guys were very much friends and we never met each other. And it took very little time for the conversation to not feel like I'm third wheeling, right? It, it took very little time for, for you guys who already knew each other to actually have like a proper three-way conversation. I, I think you're a very open person. I think you're very interesting. Very, very Aww. talkative. Thank you. Cool guy. Thumbs I feel, up. I have the funny thumbs up of approval. So I feel one, like, ah, oh, I feel very seen. Mm. And second, my first impression of you. So I didn't know that much about you either. Okay. All I knew is... James says you were really cool and that he was friends with you. Right. And that you made some content. That's basically all I knew. What I actually loved about yourself was 
how thoughtful you are and how interested you are in things. Right. Like talking with you, it was fun. Where as you said, James and I already knew each other. Right. But with you and I, I felt like I say something and you just be curious. You'd be like, yeah. oh wait, like how does this work? Yeah, of course. And then likewise, I'd ask you questions. I remember one of the very first things we talked about was you describing how you built your following initially. Right. And I was like, well, this wasn't just like you just like went home. And you're like, let's make a video. Yeah. Everything you just described in terms of your skill set, the types of videos and content you want to make, how you're both inspired by other people and wanting to work with them, how you built your yeah, following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I was like, wow, this is so deep and considered everything that you've done. Right. I thought that was just so cool. And then I said, gone to know you more, right? Like, that's why and I was introducing you. I'm like, you're literally building a business. You're building projects beyond just content. Mm -hmm. And now I understand you even better. It's because <laughs> what motivates you isn't necessarily a designer for more money, please. Yeah. It's like, hey, you mm -hmm. want to do something meaningful. I want to do, well, in a, in a very like shallow way, I want to do something that's right, almost. Like I don't want to be a greedy person. I don't want to be a selfish person. Like for example, I know a lot of YouTubers that built their empire upon like a community. And as soon as they skyrocketed above that community, they kind of like threw away their community, rather right? that that group, right? Like if you have a friend's group and one of them gets much bigger, it is so common for that person that gets bigger to kind of say, I don't hang out with them anymore. They're, and then they don't say it's because they're too small, but it's always because they're too small, right? They don't grow fast enough, right? And I, and I despise that kind of stuff. Like when I, when I grew past the YouTuber that kind of like almost make me grow up like the 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 phoenix sc guy who was my first like person to show me on reddit literally the essence of my channel he he started everything like he is super meaningful to me that person and i'm very good friends with him and we we hung out a lot and i would never care about size at all i would never care about popularity or fame or anything like that like oh he's too small for me i don't want to hang out with them like no i never i never looked at it that way and I'm happy that I never got treated that way. People that were bigger than me hung out with me because my ideas were good. And I would always hang out with people regardless of their size, so long as, you know, they're, they're legit. I love that. Yeah. All right. We'll and knock, I think that's good. We'll knock out a couple more questions. So for viewers, Bunny and I, we're going to consider this a little bit of a speed date. Ooh. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a, uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. We've got a little of a hard stop, so we're going to go, we're going to, Usually, you know, we spend a little more time level one. We're just going to skirt to level two and level three. Okay, okay. Does that sound good? So your turn. Yes. You want to pull okay. level two? Okay, I, I grab one. Exactly. So I'm just going to... All right. What would your younger self not believe about your life today? I think the fact that I get to sit here in a chair right now and get to talk to you <laughs> and ask you about your life. Stop it. No, I'm serious. Because for me, I've always really looked to build friendships with people who I feel like I can learn something from. There's something that mm. inspires me, something I admire, right? And I right. love your point on, again, the fact that you, like, you're thinking about not just, okay, I want to make something, I want to make something and people like it and it's cool and I get money. You're like, okay, what's personally meaningful to me? Like, yeah. that's something I admire. Yeah. I still think... I'm driven a little too much thinking about what other people think about me and external mm. validation, right? Okay. So like, I think that's cool. And hey, it's like younger self, you guys get to sit here and just talk with people and learn yeah, from them. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's very neat. I, I, I'm pretty much on the same level. Like when I'm downstairs in this place and I saw like outside, it was this like blah, 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 four creators, right? And I was like, wow. I'm a creator. <laughs> yeah, you're a creator. But it's it's still crazy to me. Like it that will never drop. I, I think I think the concept that like I started in my room watching someone to skip some years ahead, literally being able to hang out with that someone I watched, like that's crazy to me. I think that will never drop. Like I can I can handle myself acting normal with them and that that's always fine. Like we have a very normal like friendship in that. But a lot of people I'm friends with today. I knew them before I was anything, right? And I still find that cool. I still find that interesting. Um, that all these people that I used to watch, regular people, just regular people, and they're just 
They're just content creators. But outside of that, average Joe. Just your average Joe. And now you're somebody who your viewers view the same and way. And I'm an average Joe. Yeah. That's who I you am. You hear him? He doesn't know what he's doing half the time. He's just I trying don't. to learn and figure it out just like the yeah, rest of us. Very much so. Very much so. I love that. All right. Let's do uh let's do one level three. Okay. And I mentioned, I know we mentioned before hitting our time mark. That'll put us right at there. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. I mean, do you want to pick it or do you? Do oh, you I'll, I'll draw the let's level go, three. Let's go back and forth. Let's see it. All right. I'm going to pick a good one. You're cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> He's stealing. Yeah, go. this is a good one. Okay, okay. When in this game did you feel most connected to me? Let's just say Ooh. during our time together, even before going through these questions per oh, se. Oh, it's been a constant level the entire time, my love. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I think, I, think, uh, I think just now, like, it's always nice hearing other people that are high up there that, that have made a good reputation to kind of say, listen, I know, I know I have a good status. I know I've built something really, really cool. But at the same time, I'm just a regular guy. Like I'm just kind of the same as anyone else. I, I, I've, I've just done something cool and now I'm here, right? So knowing that everyone else is kind of thinking that way, it makes you connect very well because it makes you see that all these other content creators are kind of just also clueless. Also a little bit like, what am I doing, right? Like I have no clue. I, I upload super high content, high quality videos. But on the other hand, behind the scenes, we go to each other and say like, hey, listen, I don't know how to handle the situation. What's your advice, right? Or like, I'm demotivated or I don't know what to do. My last video did this and it did terrible. Like all those scenarios, I've been the one asking others for advice and I've had other people come to me for advice. Like it's, it's good knowing that we're all kind of in this together, right? Yeah, I really love that. And for me, similarly, when you mentioned, hey, deadlines, I need this footage by this state. Right. It's not something you enjoy or good at as much for you. It's just, hey, there's the creative thing. Here's the thing I want to go do. And you go do it. That's when I felt most connected because I'm like, I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Beautiful, funny. Thanks so much for making time. Of course. I, you, I like this. I love podcasts. <laughs>